are guilty, Mr. Swift. Killing Theodore Gildon was a testing challenge. You succeeded. What makes you think I'm somehow involved in Gildon's death? My partner's death, I might remind you. Let me tell you a story. A man spends almost five years of his life locating an artifact. He puts every ounce of energy and money into his research. The same man even goes so far as to sign a contract with a ruthless man, a businessman. It was a risk, but the reward would be worth it. Years go by and there's still no result, so the businessman decides to end the man's research. He spits on the research, he promises to bury the site under an eccentric project. All of this is just his whim. Theodore Gildon could do anything he wanted with this place, and you were anxious about the fate of your research. You wished to protect it. You tried to tame Gildon's eccentricity, but you killed him instead. That's it, big man. We're done. You won. Congratulations. Oi, we ain't done yet! This must have registered on an emotional level. First, distract target. Then block his blind jab. <laughs> Counter with cross to left cheek. Discombobulate. Dazed, will attempt wild haymaker. Employ elbow block. And body shot. <laughs> block barrel left. Weaken right jaw. Now fracture. Break cracked ribs. Traumatize solar left. Dislocate jaw entirely. Heel kick to diaphragm. In summary, ears ringing, jaw fractured, three ribs cracked, four broken, diaphragm hemorrhaging, physical recovery six weeks, full psychological recovery six months, capacity to spit it back of head, neutralized. You need anything? Coffee? Water? No. no. We're all sorted here, thanks. So, you're doing well. You've been abroad a lot. Well, some. Flying all the way around the world twice in a month. <laughs> right. You're doing that thing. Uh, we were at uni together. This guy here had a trick he used to do. It's not a trick. He could look at you and tell you your whole life story. Yes, sir. Seen him do it. Put the wind up everybody. We hated it. You come down to breakfast in the formal hall, and this freak would know you'd been shagging the previous night. I simply observed. But go on, enlighten me. Two trips a month, flying all the way around the world. You're quite right. How could you tell? You know, tell me there was um, a stain on my tie from some special kind of ketchup you can only buy in Manhattan. No, I... If it was the mud on my shoes. I was just chatting with your secretary outside. She told me. <laughs> I'm glad you could make it over. We've had a break in. Sir William's office. Thanks, former chairman. The room's been left here like a sort of memorial. Someone broke in late last night. What are they still? Nothing. Just left a little message. <laughs> seconds apart. So, someone came up here in the middle of the night, splashed paint around, and left within a minute. How many ways into that office? Well, that's where this gets really interesting. Every door that opens in this bank, it gets logged right here. Every walk-in cupboard, every toilet. 
That door didn't open last night. There's a hole in our security. Find it and we'll pay you. Five figures. This is an advance. Tell me how you got in. There's a bigger one on its way. I don't need an incentive, Sebastian. He's, uh, he's killing you, obviously. Shall I look after that for him? Two trips around the world this month. You didn't ask his secretary. You said that just to irritate him. How did you know? Did you see his watch? His watch? Time is right, but the date was wrong. It said two days ago. Crossed the date line twice, but he didn't alter it. We did a month. How'd you get that part? New brightening. We came out this February. OK. So do you think we should sniff around here for a bit longer? Got everything I need to know already, thanks. Hmm? That graffiti was a message. Someone at the bank working on the trading floors. We find the intended recipient and... They'll lead us to the person who sent it? Obvious. Well, there's 300 people up there. Who was it meant for? Pillars. What? Pillars and the screens. Very few places you could see that graffiti from. That narrows the field considerably. And, of course, the message was left at 11.34 last night. That tells us a lot. Does it? Traders come to work at all hours. Some trade with Hong Kong in the middle of the night. That message was intended for somebody who came in at midnight. 